Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So with this video, I like to talk about a few things. Number one, you will see my August mystery kit reveal. Number two, how my mystery kit works in my Etsy shop and how you guys could get your hands on them if you're new to this channel and new to my shop. And number three, there'll be a quick plan with me video at the end of this video. I feel like I've been saying video a lot, but anyways, yes, a quick one because I do not want to bore you or talk your ear off with this video. So let's just keep it short and simple. Mostly my mystery kit will be mailed out in a bubble wrap waterproof envelope. The reason why I picked this is because it's a bit more secure than the Bristol board one and plus it's waterproof so I don't want to get anything damaged during the process of sending it to you and as you can see ta -da, this is the August mystery kit so most of you guys have received it I just finished shipping it out yesterday made this video last week and can't really put it up until I shipped out everything if you do follow me on Instagram there are actually people already posting pictures of their mystery kit that they received it so I had to rush and edit this video before everything is revealed so as you can see first you'll get a thank you note card here it explains the kit and a freebie sample sheet right here and a freebie ombre heart check boxes in both the kit colors that is all the freebies that comes with the mister kit and further ado into the folder so it's really easy to open this I do find a lot of people might struggle or don't know how to open it but all you have to do is just open in the middle and pull it out and that's it um, it's up to you. you guys could just like open it like Christmas Day and just rip all the paper off if you like or you could just do it gently and just pull it off and ta-da here it is I know it's not floral but God, puzz. because the last two months has been floral and I kind of want to do something that's non-floral so I decided to do the celestial theme as you can see here there's a civic holiday in Canada we do have a holiday in August so I included that into my Canadian customers mystery kits whereas the US I don't think you guys have any holidays so there's no holidays included into your kits so let's firstly take a look at our monthly kits so here you'll see the title page stickers and as you can see differently it's a little bit different from my last two mystery kit I did add on a few things here firstly the two little washi tapes you can use these tape as um, indicators for like example if you're going on a trip and you want to indicate how long you're going you could just put it in the boxes which I'll show you how to do in my August monthly kit secondly you could see there's more than one sidebar so I decided that you guys could custom build your own sidebar and not just use the generic goals and reminder I know some of you guys want to do a check boxes so I added a few options that you could build your own sidebars and lastly new addition to the kit are the pay, payday not payday day off stickers and obviously you have your bills due and payday stickers getting to the sidebar now if you use only two or three of the stickers the rest you could actually use on your weekly spread so you could save that for your weekly spread which is an added bonus and now to my weekly kits. Uh, most of you, as you know, once you remove the weekly kits, you get a little peekaboo sneak peek of what's to come in next month's mystery kit. So this is your first clue to see the theme and the colors. Um, I will be putting official thumbnail by the end of this week or next beginning of next week so that you guys can plan ahead to see if you do want the September mystery kit. So the mystery kit comes with two weekly kits. Right here is kit A that I'm showing you. So the theme, I wouldn't say the theme, the style of both weekly kits are a celestial sky space um, cosmic effect and I didn't want to go as bold as my monthly kit because the colors in the monthly kit you can see it pops out so for the weekly kit I decided to do a softer tone like a fainter tone so <laughs> if you guys think that you know the print quality is is bad or is not there it's not because of that it's because it's done deliberately I did make the image fainter because I didn't want it to be bold in your face 
bright colors for the spread I want it to be a little bit softer because it's the sky and make it a little bit airy so that's the reason why it looks kind of faint it's because I deliberately made it to look faint you could see for those who've been continuously ordering my mystery kit thank you so much but as you can see there's something new with this kit I did add on a few more things and plus an extra sheet so the few things that are added on were the to-do list instead of five you get seven and with the meal plans instead of five stickers you get seven stickers um, I formatted my check flags to fit the functional icons on it so that it's a little bit more spaced out and that it won't overlap each other I'm going to show you what I mean so here I already placed my first functional icon stickers and next you just place the other stickers down the check flag list I've also added date covers for the top date parts. I left them blank because I don't know which week you guys will be using it, so you will have to fill in the dates. And also you get five full boxes instead of four. Also made a little cute laundry icon stickers because we all do laundry every week, right? So that's your kit A. Next I'm gonna show you kit B. Here's kit B for your weekly spread and same with this kit. I made it to look very airy, very light. I went with a brighter pastel and made it look faint. So it's deliberately made faint. As you can see, there is a fuchsia pink that I made a bowl because I felt that it still needs something to be anchored down, but I didn't really overwhelm the spread with the fuchsia. Um, but only certain things were a bit bold. So the layout's the same thing as kit A. So here you go guys, this is August mystery kit reveal. Um, you get more stickers and I think going forward I am going to continue with this amount of stickers. You get 12 sheets of stickers. Uh, with your mystery kit because I do actually enjoy using the extra stickers that I provided okay so let's talk about how my kit works um, how you could get your hands on them pre-sales and regular sales okay so my mystery kits go on pre-sale on the first of every month and runs for a week or it ends on the first Sunday so if the first of the month is a Monday it will end the following Sunday however if the first is on a Sunday it will end on the next Sunday so it will run only for a week with pre-sale you get the mystery kit at a pre-sale price plus free shipping once the pre-sale ends on that Sunday I will be delisting it from my Etsy shop and it will not be available again till I do or upload my reveal video of the mystery kit once the mystery kit reveal is uploaded onto my YouTube channel that is when I will relist the mystery kit for those of you who decide to purchase it now when I relist it on um, the second time after the review video it will be back on to regular price plus you will have to pay for shipping so it'll be full price and not including shipping and there you go my beauties that's how my mystery kit works so it will be always on pre-sale on the first of the month and you have at least up to the following sunday to get them after that sunday it will no longer be available at my shop until a reveal video is uploaded onto youtube and it will be relisted after the video so sneak peeks and themes of the mystery kit so the official sneak peek of the mystery kit will be posted on my instagram accounts or my Facebook accounts and I usually would post this a week before the pre-sale date so if you guys want to know what it is and you know want to decide if you want to get it or not I'll try to post it within the week before the pre-sale date so you guys know if you do want to get it or not for that month 
and there you go guys that's how my mystery kit works so further ado on to our plan with me as you can see there's three happy planners there yes those are all mine um, the first one you can see is my classic one that I usually do all my plan with me videos with this one is the new one and the third one is also a new one the reason why I took these two out is because they're little bit different from each other um, so it, it all depends on which cover you bought so most of the happy planner the new ones that came out has the same format as the old classic one however if you purchase the one with the black and white stripe with um, the gold sticker or the gold thing in the middle that is a little bit different than your classic format as you can see here that the headers are a lot thinner so with this week plan with me I'm going to use this spread well this planner page and show you guys how any sticker will work for any type of format that happy planner comes out with let's get started I decided to use my kit a for this weekly spread reason for that is that I rarely have any purple slash blue spread in my planner and I figured this is something different <laughs> so I'm gonna use that so firstly I am also going to pull out some scrapbook paper. This is uh, one of the gradient scrapbook paper hot buy picks from Michaels. And I figured the reason why I chose the gradient because there's a certain shade here as you can see that kind of matches with the kit. So I'm just going to use one of these pages, I'm not sure yet, but I will be using those just to fill in the boxes and the sidebar because I do not like the sidebar that Mambi has out and I have to cover it. So as you can see here, the box is actually at the bottom section is the same measurement as the classic one, including the header, even though the header is a little bit slimmer. But if you put in a full box ombre heart check box there, plus a header, it actually perfectly fits both things there as if it was a classic fit. Next I'm going to do my full boxes in the middle because there is five full boxes. I'm going to add the other two dates with this scrapbook paper. I decided to use the pink and the blue because there's more pink slash purple blue in this kit instead of the green and the pink. So that's why I chose this scrapbook paper. Here I am just cutting it to size and just laying out everything so I can see where I should put what. Okay, once that's done, as you can see, the middle section is a little bit taller than the bottom section because the black header is still showing. So for me to cover that, I am just going to use some washies. I'm not going to use all of them. And as you guys know me, this is the hardest part for me. That's why I have so much selection out here. So I'm just going to do a process of elimination um, to see which color I'm going to use and which one I won't. But for sure, I will not be using all of these washi. I'm just going to trim the axis of this washi however I'm going to save it because I want to reuse it in my planner up there as you can see to put it in the middle just gotta use up all the stuff you can't you can't waste it right now I'm going to cover up the top header with some more washies 
However, before I do so, I'm going to put the date covers on the top because I want the washi actually on top of my date cover stickers. I find these washi is a little bit too thick for what I'm going to use it for, so I'm just going to trim it down maybe half the size. Next, using the same scrapbook paper, I'm going to trim out the sidebar and I'm going to use some double-sided tape to tape it down. Going to trim off the axis that I don't need. So here I just stood back to look at my weekly spread and I felt that it still needed a little bit more washi at the bottom of my full boxes just to just to cover up because I, you guys can't see but there's actually a corner missing from the scrap box, scrap box, scrapbook page box. So I just used the washi just to cover it because I know it will annoy me. Now I'm just going to work on my today's. I'm just going to fast forward this whole part because there's no point in me explaining what I'm going to do this week because I feel that this video is already too long for you guys. So I'm just going to speed up this process. Once my whole week is planned, I'm going to work on the sidebar and maybe find some quote stickers and decorate the page with just your generic stars stickers that I got from the Man Be Happy Planner sticker book. This one you see here is actually from Erin Condren. I decided to cut out the sticker instead of using the square because I think when I cut it out, it stands out more. So this whole clip will be just me decorating the planner with gold stars purple stars and just stars because I use glitter washi for this spread my top washi will not stick onto the glitter washi because it's not a flat surface so I'm just going to use my Tombow and just glue the top washi onto the glitter washi so it sticks Now just back to decorating my spread with more stars of purple, blue, and gold. Now it's time for the ink. I'm going to fill in my dates with a black pen and the rest I'm just going to use a purple one just to match the spread. And that's it guys. So as you can see, you can't even really tell which planner page this spread came from if it's from the new one as, as you can see here or from the classic because once you're done with the stickers and with the washi tape, you can't really tell because um, it's literally a blank page. The format or the, the section is just there for a guideline. But other than that, you can always work your own magic or be very creative and just cover up what needs to be covered up. So I'm just going to put the pages back into my old planner because i rather have it in my old planner than the new planner because I still want to continue using my old planner. You wouldn't even know it's a different page unless you flip it over like this, you could tell. But other than that, it all works the same. It all turns out at the end. 
So thank you guys for watching. I know this is a little bit longer than my regular videos. It's because I packed it up with a lot of things, with the reveal, with the mystery kit, how it works, and also a plan with me. So if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.